Scott Lohman looking to take Team Philippines to 2 and 0, oh, but he's going up against the maestro from Russia, <laughs> Yusuf Sardalayev. Both men stand at 168 centimetres. Here's Dom Lau. And now, this match is three rounds of five minutes in a one bantam way mixed martial arts contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is the number three bantam weight contender, standing at 168 centimeters tall and weighing in at 65.8 kilos, holding a mixed martial arts record of 20 wins and five losses. Training out of Ooflacker Academy, representing Russia. Stepping into action is Ilsa <laughs> Maestro Sadlayev. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 168 <laughs> centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.8 kilos, holding a mixed martial arts record of 14 wins and two losses. Training out of Team Lakai, representing the Philippines. Get ready for Steven, the Sniper Lohman. Last year. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier Cost. Hi guys, watch out for the headbutt. Low blow, back of the head and spine. You both on the roof. Five, 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 clean. Touch you on and back your corner. Komastas Kababayan to all the viewers of the Philippines watching on One Sports and One Sports Plus. As your boy Stefan Lohman tries to take Team Lukai in the Philippines to 2 0 against the maestro Yusuf Sadalayev. This one could almost be a world title eliminator for Sadalayev. We know that Lineker is next up against Bibiano Fernandez next year. Kevin Bellignon currently not in the picture. Sadalayev ranked number third. Next in line, should he win it here tonight, perhaps. But Stefan Lohman will have a thing or two to say about that. Both men in southpaw stance here. Be familiar, all red trunks of Team Lakai. Wide stance coming from Lohman. Seems active. Has a bit of a speed advantage here over Sadalayev. See how Sadalayev chooses to counter that speed by throwing things a little bit heavier. Lohman, who arrives in the circle on an eight fight winning streak. In the previous organization he was with, he cleaned out his division and held the title there for more than 1,000 days. Big left hand landed by Sadalayev early. I asked Sadalayev about catching the kicks of Lohman to try to get this match to the ground. And he said that Wushu athletes are very used to having their kicks caught and also countering with them. So it'll be interesting to see how he chooses to negate the kicking ability of Stefan Lohman. No attempt to get it to the ground yet, just a filling out process for the maestro. Eats a right hand there to start alive, then eats a left hand. Good short punches from Lohman. Looks for the outside leg kick to that lead thigh of the maestro. A must-win fight here for Sardalayev to keep his aspirations of a world title tilt alive. A loss here. And that goes bye-bye. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Sadalayev has one of the longest winning streaks, the longest winning streak in the Bantamweight division. Six. So it's very important for him to, you know, stop somebody and defend that number three spot next to his name. Roman wants nothing more than to jump into the top five with a big win over Sadalayev. Sadalayev backs him off with two left hands. Nicely placed from the Russian. High kick there from Loman. Goes for the headache maker. <laughs> Nicely placed. Striking satellite so far. As was expected, though, Dragon. If it goes to ground, though, it's going to be a different story. I do believe so, but Loman has very strong wrestling. He's also got good grappling as well. I'd expect him to be able to at least defend a, the first couple initial takedowns, maybe. Um, if not being able to get back up to his feet, if Sutalive chooses to attempt that takedown. Sutalive said he wanted to be very cerebral in this opening round and just kind of understand the strengths and weaknesses of Loman and then start to build his game plan as the minutes progress. 
Certainly a very high in circle IQ on the Maestro. Jab two combination from the Russian. Lohman loads up that overhand, but he telegraphed it. See, Lohman's got a very low center of gravity. He changes levels well. He keeps his stance nice and wide. And I think that's going to just aid him in takedown defense. What we've seen in the past three fights from Sadolayev, he has had the ability to keep a match striking and do very well at it. Second of our four, Team Philippines versus the world here tonight. Kevin Palignon takes on Juan Bonil later, and also Denny Kingad versus former world's flyweight champion Karen Akmatai in our main event. Jab two, there's the overhand left again from Loman. Tags him on the orbital with that left hand. Nice pull of the trigger there from the Filipino. Tags him again. A little bit of the chicken dance from the maestro. An opening here for Lohman. Can he capitalize? And Sadalaya backs off and resets himself. Lohman's got heat in that left hand. He's gauging things very well. Sadalaya might want to choose to shoot a takedown here because if that left hand keeps touching Sadalaya, regardless of how great that beard looks on Sadalaya, he's going to crumble. Measuring. Oh, and the opening there he corner is. swings. It's over. It's 2 0 for Team Philippines versus the world. The Maestro's been knocked out by Stefan Lohman. What a debut again. Wow, the hype is real on Lohman. That wow. left hand. Wait, wait, wait. I got a lot of pop right back up. He fell right back down. Lohman looks spectacular. That's another great debut. From Team Lakai for Stephen Bowman. That was impressive, Michael. This new generation of Team Lakai absolutely starting the competition. First, Jumbo Mark Sengo, and now Stephen Bowman. Both first round finishes. Look at that overhand left. He came on. Look at that. The head movement off the left hand of Sadalaya with a left hand of his own. Woo! Lohman. Welcome to one championship, sir. Let's get a top now. My goodness. Uh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after four minutes and nine seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of technical knockout.